So I just want to talk a little bit about how to take a camera from Blender to After Effects. What I've got here is just three spheres. I'm kind of animating the camera pretty basically. It's a one move type situation. And what I want to do, since I have this camera, in order to bring it into After Effects is first of all, load my script. I go to Preferences and I want to install, first of all, I want to see if it's here. The After Effects plugin's not here, so I want to go install that. You want to download the Python script uh, add-on, which I will include the link for that in the description of this video. And then you just want to load that up. So it's io after effects.py, load it up, check it to make sure it's enabled. And now what we can do is take this camera over. So the way I want to do this is I'm going to uh, select my plane here. I just want to add a empty to this. So empty plane axis. Great. So you'll see that's kind of, um, let's make sure we label this correctly. Empty right here. So it's just called empty. Maybe I'll call it empty null. So I know what it is. And then I'm going to drop one more in just for the heck of it for perspective sake. So I'm going to drop it back here. Then I want to select both of these empties and the camera. So I want to go to file export Adobe After Effects dot JSX. And I'm going to save this. I've got my blender test, so I'm going to do, this is my cam import file. I'm just gonna create a new folder. Um, you know, something that makes sense. Cam from blender. And then it's just called blender cam export to After Effects. Cool. Now, in the meantime, I have already exported this animation. I'll show you what that looks like. Pretty simple. I mean, it's no frills. The idea is just to get that camera move to line up. Now notice that the camera does ease in and ease out. We want to make sure that carries over to After Effects. So if I go to After Effects, I've already got this lined up. I've got an old camera I've already kind of imported here. So I'm going to delete that, delete this empty. And then I'm going to go to file, run script. And then I want to choose my camera import file I just made. Actually it's under, yep. There we go, blender cam. It's going to create a new comp, click okay. There's the blender cam comp. So you'll see here, if I blow this up, I've got two planes and a camera. Both of those are my empties, but they're, they're markers for what we're going to do next. Uh, now I could cut these and put these into the other, the other uh, project I have, but I can just grab my image sequence and drop that right in. And this should all line up. I have these text layers here. I wanna grab these, bring those into the Blender Cam comp uh, paste them. I want to change that color so I know what they are. There we go. So now they should just track with the spheres. There's no keyframes. They are just static text files that are rotated in space. If I rotate this right now, you can see it just kind of moves at that place, but it's tracking correctly with the camera. And if you really want to see what's going on, you can select both of these nulls and just make sure that they're kind of Moving with the spheres. Yep. Let's just blow that up so we can see it. And that looks pretty good. You know, there is a little bit of sliding here in terms of how we perceive it, but it's because it's so close to the camera that it's actually perspective that we're seeing. If you look back here, these are all pretty well, pretty well lined up. Yeah, that looks good. And that is how you bring a camera into After Effects from Blender. I'm using version three. So, um, you know, it's, it's up to date with the current Blender and that's pretty much how you do it. It's just a really simple script and you can get moving pretty quickly by bringing your exported sequences into After Effects with that camera. My name is Bill, thanks for watching and don't forget to rate, click and subscribe.